Hey guys, Technic here, and in this video I'm just going to di basically dissect the, the uh, Devil's Lair. This video is a bit overdue, but my PS4 was completely bugging out on me. It was like giving me the finger, and it just wanted to shut down. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to sparrow breach underneath this pile of stuff. I don't know who the original founder was, um, or if this was found before. And you want to jump on this uh, brown stuff over here. Here, I'll show you. Once you fall through the floor... As, like around the other side of the wall to my right right now um, you're gonna fall underneath and you're gonna follow this path you try to avoid that white wall and land um, down over here on this brown stuff right it's, uh, and then what you want to do is just follow my path through this uh, blue wall uh, that's completely feasible and um, you want to come up here and hit the checkpoint um, I did miss it the first time uh, but you don't, don't want to be this close into the wall because if you transition there you will Paul Walker and you're just gonna die and respawn back and you're trapped. You gotta love that. Anyway, um, um, first I want to show you guys the left side of the map, which is quite, uh, I believe it's to be the best part. And um, you can see the, the walls are a bit fadeable, but um, there's a, a giant wall to the bottom there, but I don't think you can use it too well. There's a wall to the left, like I mean a pushback barrier, and uh, but you, it still gives you plenty of breathing room. The good part about this is that there's a lot of like dirt piles on the walls on the left side and there's a bit of a push a few pushback barriers over there. Now the weird thing about this pushback barrier is that if you can you can only breach it by touching the wall on either side and once you do it will push you into the wall and uh, you'll actually like die because you're supposed to be inside the map. Um, there's also like a like a uh, like I said a weak pushback barrier to the left side, but you ignore it. Think you see nothing. Now to demonstrate the pushback barrier, I'm gonna try jumping on this, and as you can see, I failed. Something really really hard pushed me back. Um, now I want to show you what I mean uh, by uh, like pushing you against the wall. Um, here I'm gonna land on this, and look, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and it's not doing anything. Like it's not going um, anywhere. But the cool thing that I found out about this place. Is that you can actually go um, underneath the map and you can actually see uh, something really really cool. Um, what you want to do is you want to land on one of these islands or like little, I'll just call them islands. So, um, I, I use tether because it helps well. And then you can see there's two tunnels over there. Um, those are actually ventilation shafts, um, but you won't really. You can sort of see them later on in the video. Anyway, now let's go on to the right side. Actually, instead of going under, I'll let you guys explore that for yourself. I'll, I'll just show you how to, uh, basically how to do it. Anyway, we're now on the right side, and when I jump up here, boom, pushback. Now, this pushback isn't really too big. It's about two, like, two and a half meters, like, wide. But, um, it's kind of difficult to breach. Uh, blade dancer, smash, and even shoulder charge can do it quite easily. But, um, it's kind of hard to do on hunters here. I've tried to do it with, uh, two sword swings, um... But the source things are kind of random. You have to do it in like rapid concession for it to work. But um, all you guys explore it for yourself. For yourself, it's, it looks it's quite a like, quite a decent area to explore. And now I'm going to show you how to get into inside the map and uh, just like, some cool stuff inside. What you want to do is you want to uh, jump on top of here. I'm just clowning around right now, but I, now being serious. What you want to do is you want to use your first jump to get height and then your second jumps in rapid concession to breach over the barrier. I mean to breach like the wall and once you're on top you want to quickly uh, go to the other side and drop in. Um, a, a bit tricky to do at first but once you get the hang of it it's quite simple. And now I'm going to demonstrate. It's first jump and then one two and we're through. You want to uh, go on this uh, the right side over here because on the left side you're going to have to go all the way to the end. Like uh, the, the like the uh, thing prevents you, and actually there, you can actually get to uh, do this on this side. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a bit tricky, but I just boost out against the barrier and boom, I'm on the other side. And um, you, you and you jump up and yeah, it's a bit yeah, it's kind of messed up. And now I'm on the bottom here. You'd want to go. Um, this is in case you go on this side and you just simply want to go to the end as fast as possible. Now it's time for the uh, glitch. I would actually gonna show you. Um, something that I found with Envious and Daydude both in the description is how to get up there. And now first I'm going to show you what happens if you were to fall down here. Because it happens. There's no death barrier, but there is a way you can get on top. It, it works like this. What you want to do is you want to jump up and hold down the jump button for extra height. And you want to sword swing to get distance. And, and if you do it right, you're going to go past it. Or if you're lucky, land on it. 
what you want to do is you want to jump on top of here and then from here just jump right back into the map quite an easy uh quite an easy jump to do now uh time for the uh, main like well not, well the main part of the patrol the patrol part now what you want to do is you want to jump on top of this wire i kind of messed up and this is kind of like a weird spawn there but as you can see um it, it is faceable like this whole uh, wire is faceable I mean, not feasible. Um, some some of them are feasible, but uh, the one that we're gonna jump on isn't. And I mean, it's quite solid. And uh, but you can also jump on this wire. I'm just showing you the different stuff. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. Is you can see that one? That one's solid too. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to jump uh, on either of these wires to this big wire over here that's connecting the banner. And from this, you want to simply jump onto the lip of the surface. If you want to go around, like, the lip side, because there is going to be a pushback there. But, um, if you slide and shade up at the right, uh, angle, and as well as at the uh, shade up at the right moment, at, like, the peak, you can actually get on top of here. And if you bring, like, two people up here, you can revive each other. And it's quite, uh, an interesting, uh, thing to see because you, um, up there, there's actually, uh, a lot of things that are feasible and not, th not too many barriers. So, um, there might be something profitable there, as in, like, you might find something cool. And now for this last thing, I want to show you something over here. The barriers here are a bit lower, so you have a bit of breathing room, and I landed on this, I got lucky. And as you can see, um, I'm now underneath the water, and, um, I want to show you something really cool. Look at that. There's water dripping through water and underwater. You got this is like SpongeBob logic over here. But as you can see, there's two uh, uh, ventilation shafts to my right. That's the two long tunnels that you saw. And uh, actually, you know, somebody was talking about uh, they wanted to know how to get to this area in patrol on Envy's video. So I'll show you. You just simply walk in. There's like nothing preventing you. Uh, there's no elevator shaft though, uh, but I'll show you how to get in. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to uh, go to uh, the Mission Kate stash. You want to kill all the enemies inside of the blast the devil's lair and the beginning of the devil's spire and you want to run all the way back to rocky yard summon a sparrow and drive all the way to the uh, devil's uh, lair uh where you will, will we will be doing a uh like, our, like the probably the hardest part of this entire video to replicate um this uh this glitch was found by me and this and day dude um and i hope you guys enjoyed it so far Anyway, now that we're here, um, we want to get to the other side of that bridge inside of the uh, Devil's um, Lair to get to the Devil's Spire. But it's kind of a bit tricky to do. Like, uh, like normally you can just jump up, but we have, since we're on a sparrow, it's a bit tricky. And uh, we want to go on that little thing. And oh, wow, I fell in the water. Nah, it's like, I'm water Jesus. But uh, I'm driving on a sparrow above the water. I'm not hitting the death barrier, but if I were to fall... I'd actually hit the death barrier and my spawn would be locked on water and it's just a never an ending cycle of death and I have to go to orbit, right? So what you want to do is you want to bring your sparrow here and what you want to do is you want to do up and jump and sparrow jump and uh, I don't even know how I got it. Uh, that was a bit of luck there, but um, yeah, it's com to me it's like completely random, but uh, it takes, it's just like a fair bit of uh, like experience, but you um, once it, it's a bit frustrating at first, but you'll get it eventually and you want to drive um, past here on the sparrow i really want to know what's behind the the, the big vault door and that other door um like that looks like something out of a sailboat and uh you want you want to speed boost past this door because you will probably get stuck on it one time so you have a bit of extra time i'll show you some stuff that i found um i tried going underneath this bag of fallen stuff to sparrow breach but i never really could find the right spot maybe it's because the floor is too thick or maybe it's because i have like more spot like more closer areas to be than underneath the map i honestly don't know um, another, uh, thing that I've tried was I tried bringing my sparrow underneath the garage door because it's a bit high. So what I did was I lined it up and as soon as the thing rested, I, um, uh, like, uh, pushed in. But I, uh, I don't know, there might be like a, a pushback barrier there. And now for the main glitch of the day, getting in the elevator shaft. What you want to do is you want to bring your sparrow, um, about, like, two-thirds of the way in. I can I obviously failed to, I only got like a third. I miscalculated like the, how the how it would go, and uh, here I do a bit better. Um, not this time, the second time. Um, but what ends up happening is that oh, my sparrow was facing downward. You really want it to like face upward. So um, basically, when you jump off the sparrow, instead of immediately going down, you're actually going to go up. Because right below me right now is uh, another death barrier, 
and when I jump off the sparrow, plop, instant death. Uh, what you want, what you would want to do is you would want to uh, like uh, have your uh, sparrow like angled up, so um, you would jump off, and then you can activate your jump boost to get you safely on top of the elevator shaft or along the sides of the elevator shaft. Like right, you, you can sort of see it through the grater, like over there. Um, and um, I've noticed, I guess, you were like I'm shooting at it right now. And as you can see, um, th this uh, this is the glitch that we found. We we're trying to get out of this area, um, but I don't know. One of you guys might have an idea. Uh, so far, I've seen no no uh, ways to glitch out of uh, Devil's Spire. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave in the comments if you've actually got a way to glitch out of the Devil's Spire. We'd be really really happy to see that. And sorry for this taking so long, my PS4 was uh, like crashing and stuff like that. And I really, really hope it doesn't happen again. Like I was seeing system error, uh, like the application is like, or the, the, the database is corrupted. And it took like 10 minutes to load one second of footage and it took 16 hours to render and the video didn't even post. Yeah, it was it was really, really crazy. Like I'm probably thinking about getting a PS4, but anyway, this is Tacnook out. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.